This is Mohammed Shakil or Shaxer and today I'm going to show you how you can create a shaft or groove in uh, mechanical design, part design in the Katia V5. So, first before creating shaft or groove, first you need a sketch. So, I'm going to make some sketch over here using the spline. So as shaft is, uh, you know, revolving a sketch, so you need an axis which can define as the rotation point. So I'm done with the sketch. Sorry, I'll come out of the sketch. I'll give the shaft. Give 360 zero. So if I give some 150 or something, what happens is, so if you, uh, you know you won't get the complete rotation so you need you need to give uh, 360 give ok so the shaft is done over here so whatever you're creating the part design it will be a complete filled object so if if uh, this looks like a pot and uh, you know you can actually create a shell there is a command called a shell over here so you can create shell so that it looks exactly like a pot so you can give around uh, 3 or 5 as a thickness and click OK so you get thickness ok and you get a hollow thing inside whatever the thickness that I'm giving in the shell over here is the thickness of this particular is the of this particular material so now I'm going to show you how you can do the groove so I'll come again to the sketch for doing the groove you need some part an object so you can do the groove on it otherwise the uh, uh, option will be frozen so you can uh, you know create some random sketches over here you know kind of design on the part and uh, come on the sketch once again and give the groove so if you didn't create the axis over here the axis will be automatically created by the by default by the software so you can select this in preview and click OK so you have the particular design or something over here you can create your own design whatever you require and this is it so in this tutorial I've shown you how you can do the groove and uh, shaft as well as uh, shelling so I hope you enjoyed my video thank you